Scaffold Perspectives is a high-volume processing tool that Proteum Software has designed to give its users more control over the organization of their experiment. With Perspectives, users will see detailed explorations of the data with sophisticated color schemes, more options for clustering the proteins, and collapsible tree structures for a focused, elegant examination of any attribute groups assigned to the experiment. This demo will discuss how to use some of the main features of Perspectives. For more detailed instructions on how to use the program, please see the user's guide, which you can access from the Help menu at the top of the program. This is the Organize view, which displays each MS sample and its assigned attributes. After loading an MZID file exported from Scaffold, Perspectives will automatically detect the biosample or category attributes defined in the other program. If you load an MZID from another source, Perspectives will not have any predefined groups of attributes. In this demo, besides the biosample and category attributes, there are also already three other custom groups of attributes in the experiment, ethnicity, anticoagulant, and HPLC. I want to define one more group of attributes, so I'm going to click on the Add Attribute button above the list of attributes here. First, I have to define the name of my attribute group, so I'm going to select Add New from the drop-down menu here. Then I can define the first attribute in the group. If I want to define more than one attribute for the group, I have to click Add Attribute again, and then select the attribute group from the drop-down menu. Then I can define the new attribute below. To apply an attribute group to an MS sample, simply drag an attribute to one of the MS samples, and Perspectives will add the attribute option to the table. To add attributes from the newly added group to other MS samples, there is a drop-down menu in the new column where you can select defined attributes from that attribute group. Here in the samples view, Perspectives displays an overview of each protein loaded into the dataset. I have already applied GoTerm annotations to my dataset, and this table to the right of the protein's accession numbers and taxonomies displays each annotation. I have also enabled one of Perspectives' unique features, protein clustering by GoTerm. To apply other types of clustering, click the Experiment drop-down menu here at the top. Under the Protein Clustering menu option, you can also select Shared Evidence Clustering, which is Scaffold's method of clustering, and Expression Profile Clustering, which groups proteins into clusters based on their differential expression behavior across all samples. I want to hide the Go terms for now, so I'm going to click on the Column Control, which is the drop-down menu to the right of the column header. This is a list of each of the displayed columns. Clicking on the Go Terms menu option will uncheck and hide all Go Terms in the table. Note that the proteins will retain their clustering by Go Terms even when the annotations themselves are hidden. At the right of the table, the displayed values for each of the proteins show beneath their associated attribute tree. I have each protein's value displayed for each MS sample, which are grouped first by biosample here and then category here. The default values for each protein are not normalized, so if you want to normalize your values across the experiment, check the Normalized box here. To color each value on a gradient scale, click the Display Options button here. Checking the Use Color Gradient box in the dialog window will adjust the colors displayed in the table depending on where they fall in the spectrum of values. For a complete overview of all the values in the table, Right-click anywhere in the table and select the Export Save PNG Bitmap option. This will export an image file that captures every value for each protein, regardless of whether or not it is visible in the dimensions of the main window of the program. This allows the user to see trends over the entire dataset, instead of having to focus on a specific set of values. You can customize the summarization tree structure of the experiment depending on how you want to examine your data. Click on the Summarization button at the top of the program to pull up the Summarization drop-down menu. Click Edit to change the tree structure. I want to structure my experiment by category first, then ethnicity. By dragging and dropping the attribute groups, you can easily construct any number of experimental designs. 
Once I apply the changes, the table and the values will automatically account for the new structure, and I can look at my data in a whole new way. I also want to apply a t-test to my data, which I can do through the Experiment drop-down menu here. Click Quantitative Analysis to bring up the Configure Quantitative Analysis dialog box, where you can choose from a variety of statistical tests. I'm going to select the t-test, which will bring up the option to change the summarization of the experiment before applying the test by using the same drag-and-drop method as before. Note that the statistical tests perform the calculation based on attributes in an attribute group, not attribute groups themselves. Click Apply to start the test. Perspectives will now color each value based on its highest summary level, which in this case is the category, split up by each ethnicity in the attribute group. This allows you to easily compare each protein's test results and displayed value by whichever summaries you find the most useful. As with many of the other programs in our Scaffold software suite, the Proteins view in Perspectives looks at each individual protein, peptide, and spectra in greater detail. There are three information panes in the Proteins view. The Peptides pane, which displays each identified peptide for a selected protein. The Validation pane, which displays each valid spectra identified for a selected peptide. And the Visualization pane, which provides information tabs about the amino acid sequence of the selected protein the MSMS -MS spectrum graph, and the peptide spectrum fragmentation table. Once you select a protein from the drop-down menu above, the Proteins view updates automatically to display the information for that particular protein. I've chosen to examine the protein with accession number APOA1 human. You can see the list of peptides here, and selecting a peptide will show its identified spectra here. The Protein Sequence tab is split into two sections the Sequence Coverage Comparison, and the Sequence Coverage Display. You can toggle between displaying the one or both of the sections using these buttons at the top of the pane. The Sequence Coverage Comparison is a color-coded table that details each protein sequence coverage for each selected attribute. For example, you can select which attribute group's sequence coverage you wish to examine from the drop-down menu here. I want to see the sequence coverage for my protein in each ethnicity so I'm going to select the Ethnicity option. The first row of the table details the total sequence coverage. Each subsequent row details the coverage in each attribute. The Sequence Coverage Display, much like other Sequence Coverage Displays in our Scaffold software suite, catalogs the amino acid sequence of each protein and highlights each identified peptide. With Perspectives, however, you can visualize the sequence in more detail than ever before. Each peptide is color-coded by whichever attribute it is associated with. The peptide under examination flashes slowly to help visually guide the user through the sequence. There are several different ways to view the peptides and their attributes in the sequence coverage display. If you right-click on the display and select the Display pop-up menu option, you will see three options. Overlay, the default option, which displays the peptides with overlapping attribute coloring, Stacked, which colors the peptides equally but provides stacked color-coded lines above each peptide to represent attribute coverage, and spectral coverage, which removes the color coding but provides shaded regions based on the number of spectral matches. Mm -hmm.